I'm going to share with you today is a meatloaf. I love the meatloaf so dearly. It's a take on the meatloaf and this was the first recipe that I ever shared with my family when I had just gone vegan nine years ago and it was for Thanksgiving too and they loved it. They just loved it. So let's get cooking. Yeah. <laughs> bay leaf, half a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of carrots, a little bit of celery, a little bit of onion, and a touch of garlic. Now we're gonna cover it and let it come to a simmer. For this next part, I'm gonna make a special smoky sauce, but you're welcome to substitute it for ketchup. The recipe is... We're gonna saute our veggies. We're going to do three tablespoons of olive oil. Now that my pan is hot, I can put one cup of onions, half a cup of carrots, half a cup of celery, and a heaping tablespoon of garlic. Meanwhile, my veggies saute, I can check my butternut squash. Let's check it with the fork. Oh, it's very soft. Now that my veggies are nice and toasty, I can take them off the flame and set them aside. Now we're going to chop one cup of walnuts. And with any nuts, I would say to be very careful because it's very likely that they're rancid. So give them a little smell. If they don't smell funny and they taste delicious, they're good to use. So now we get to combine it. We're going to use a food processor. In the food processor, we're going to do one cup of our cooked butternut squash, and I just smashed it in to make sure that it was a full cup. Half a cup of our sauteed veggies. One cup of cooked lentils. A quarter cup of flax meal. One and a half cups of the smoky sauce. And we're gonna combine the rest of our ingredients in this bowl. So it's the lentils my sauteed veggies, two tablespoons of minced tarragon, and two tablespoons of fresh minced rosemary, a quarter cup of loosely packed sage, and a cup of chopped walnuts, a cup and a quarter cup of oat flour, which I made in the Vitamix, but you can always just buy it. So I'm gonna give this a mix first, and then I can add my puree. I have a tiny bit of herbs left, so I just went ahead and added them. And I also have a little bit of butternut squash, and instead of wasting it, I'm gonna chop it into small pieces, and I'm just gonna add it in as well. Set your oven to 350. And last but not least, we're gonna assemble it. So it's super cute if you can use little bread loaves. 
And we're going to line them with a little bit of oil. If you use parchment paper, then you can like take it right out. So I'm gonna cut my parchment paper to the right size. And then I'm going to cut the corners so that they could slip right in. Okay, now it can slip right in there. So that's how it ends up looking. Going to top it off with my homemade cranberry sauce which I will leave a link in the description below for my recipe of this cranberry sauce but if you don't want to use cranberry sauce or you don't want to make something extra you can always just top it off with some ketchup really nervous because this is like a totally new version that I had never tested out before Wow oh with the cranberry sauce really takes it to the next level I don't think I had ever liked cranberry sauce so much and the smokiness from the smoky sauce really comes through and I did top it off with a little bit of fresh parsley too just for a little color mmm oh I shouldn't finish it you want to try it I got carried away <laughs> you weren't gonna say anything Here's my boyfriend, he gets to try it. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Tastes like Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to get your notifications, share it with your friends, and give it a like. And give it a like. <laughs> yeah! Mm -hmm. And have a, have a happy, happy holiday.